Hi, it's Matt here and today I'm going to go through with you my variation of the Ghostbusters theme tune by Ray Parker, the Beach Drum Edition. So first of all, we're going to break this song down into some of the foundation because I don't want to make this a really long YouTube video, but I do want to give you the basics of what's going on here. To begin with, the introduction. It's just two linear melodies, a simple E and F plays all the way through over the top bass line. And the bass line is just this, it's E, D, C sharp, B flat, A, G, E flat. And we just play them together. So for my fret hand, because this has a lot of the work, I use my little finger to anchor across the guitar body. And playing them slowly together, it's first the opening E's on both sides of the guitar strings. And then whilst that keeps going, then we play the open D for the bass line. I'm using my fourth finger here to fret the C sharp. Okay, this is interesting because here, instead of trying to play the E and F at the top, continuing with the index finger, I'm now swapping over to allow me to play the B flat. And the reason why I don't play the B flat here with the index finger is so that I can keep the top melody going. Then A, before I play the G, and the same thing again, I'm playing the E flat with the second finger to keep the melody going. And that brings us really to the main part of the song, the main groove, the riff. And this riff is a really cool one with three chords because it underpins the entire piece and it's made out of E major, D major, and there's a transition note from the E major to the D, and that is G sharp. The strong beat pattern, no matter what I'm doing, relies on two parts. The bass tone, the kick drum tone, appearing on the first and the third beat per bar, and the chops, just appearing on the second and fourth. So no matter what happens, we're just attempting to keep the groove going all the way through. Now, depending on what's happening, there are occasions where I omit the chop, uh, obviously so that the melody can keep going. Back to the groove. It's down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So with the beach drum, Now let's add the chords back in. Okay, and then we're introduced to the anthem and we're playing the melody on top, the chords, as well as keeping the beat going. The really cool thing about this piece is that a lot of the notes can really be played within one region of the guitar. However, I found when trying to play up here all the time and playing across all strings, they weren't really sounding loud enough, which is why I opted to play the anthem up the next. So instead of playing the S sharp and the D here, I'm actually going further up the neck and sliding up, anchoring on my index finger to reach the seventh fret. So here's the anthem melody by itself, and I'm going to play using the fingers I normally play them with, so it's... So here's the strum beat pattern. It's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. So put them both together. So 
adding the beach drum back in. And that's what you need to get used to. The idea being that for the melody notes on the anthem, you want to strike harder against the strings which the melody plays. And then we get to the verse. So the interesting thing here is that whilst we're playing major chords, this vocal verse actually uses E minor and pentatonic. So where we're playing the G sharp as part of the anthem, we're now actually resorting to G. And then because the Ghostbusters part actually comes in like shouting, I've had to um, adapt that to more note based and play A, G, E. And so here's the verse melody, again using the same fingers I play with the chords. And this is where I play the chord slightly different because instead of playing E major, I'm now just playing the E power chord so I can keep the melody on top. And then we come to middle eight. So first of all, the chords are literally D major, E major. And again, the melody is So just the G, F sharp, D. But because I'm holding the D chord, I'm using my little finger, and then letting that go. And then this is just a straight E major F. And all I'm doing here is hammering on after the initial down stroke. And then to end back, I'm playing the A chord with top A so I can bring the melody down, letting go of my fingers each time with a. And then we get to the final part, which is the outro, and it's almost like a second chorus. And all I'm playing here, instead of the E major, it's just the E power chord, D, C major but using the little finger, this variation, to keep the melody going back to D. And the melody is just simply... And then playing the chords all the way through. So without the strum beat pattern... So that's pretty much it, the Ghostbusters theme tune my version played on beach drum guitar. So let's recap. We went through the introduction, which are the two melodies, the initial riff with my first drum beat pattern, then the anthem, which is the drum beat pattern and the anthem melody on top, before the slight modification for the verse, then we've got the middle eight, and then finally we've got the outro. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Take care.